So one of the programs you have to have for your Windows 8 system is free from Adobe. It's called Photoshop Express. And to get the app, you just start from your start screen and just like any other search, you just start typing. So we'll type in F-O-F-H-O-T-O. -O. Okay, but we're going to go over here to the right and switch, click on the store. It'll change to the store. We're going to continue on searching over here because you got a lot of photo apps and everything. Okay, Photoshop Space Express. And there it is. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And there's Photoshop Express. And it's free. And it's from, if you look down here at the near the bottom, it says free from Adobe. Okay, and it does all different kinds of things. Here's the detail of what it does. Supports for importing PMG and a few other things. That's the latest. And here's the reviews. And uh, so few features useless. Well, that's not really true. If you're a full-fledged Photoshop person, sure, you're going to need the full app. But if you're just doing your home videos and photos and stuff, we're going to go ahead and click on it, and we're going to say install. Now, while it's installing and everything, whoop, it's already was installed. Okay, depend upon your speed of your system and everything. It'll do that. Let's close the store down. Okay, and we'll go over here, and you'll see that it's over here in an icon. Now, I had previously installed that; otherwise, it'll be over in your far right, wherever your last of your apps are at. But I already installed it, so let's right-click. We're going to make it a little smaller, and then we're going to go ahead and click on it. So when we go in here, it's going to go through this start, and it's going to skip. But it's going to say, "Here's what you can do." You go take a look at it. It talks about what it does and everything. And basically, we go back. It has this thing called Adobe Revel. It says, upload your footage to Adobe Revel to sync them across your Windows 8 phone. Tab. You can also use SkyDrive, and I would recommend at first hand using SkyDrive. This is just their system. They want to be able to provide you with storing and, and probably going to be charging for Revel at one, some free space, some whatever. Uh, what I really want to show you, though, is how to just use this free application to do your everyday editing and everything. So we're going to skip past all the features and everything. And you notice we're, we're here in the system itself. And there's Adobe Revel. Okay, you can also connect up to a camera. But here's your picture library that's going to go access your system to find your, to find your photographs. So let's go click on the picture library to access your photographs. I'm going to go to, to uh, 2007. I'm going to open up an image here. I'm going to click on that and it says open image. And you can see it's in image editing mode. It's a little picture of some flowers and things. Okay, and we can do different things here. We can sit there and say crop and you can change this and crop the size of your photo and all that stuff and everything. So that's good. Uh, we're going to back, uh, you can rotate, you can flip horizontal, flip vertical. Okay, this is free. This effect, the cropping effect is free. Okay, and by the way, you can sit there and do your own little things with it and everything. So we're going to reset that and get out of crop. And then we're going to go to correct, which is there's different contrast. We're in contrast. You change your contrast of the photo, clarity, vibrance, and all that. You can change your exposure to increase or decrease the darkness depending upon what you want to do. Okay, and white balance as well. You can change the temperature of it to give it a little bit of a hue change and everything. And of course, the real hue change in the tint, hue change in the tint here. Okay, and you turn that off and on to see the original and you see the other one. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, reset that back to the original and actually, and then we're going to get out of exposure. And there's other different things too. There's different, there's look, and these are all the different looks. And if you hold down here, you can see what the names of them. There are some premium ones, and this is the new model. They're giving you the program free so that you would buy the other types of features that you they want to do it. So it's just like games. Games are now, some of them are free, and you buy like a superhero suit or a new weapon or things like that. So it's a new model. So if you look here, these are the advanced ones and everything that you would buy. Uh, by that way. Now here's the free ones that you get. You go out, get quite a few features with it and for the average home consumer who's not doing graphics this is what to do is just use those, the easy stuff. So you have red eye which is free so if you have a person here you tap it'll find the red eye for you and do that. It also has, let me get out of that, let's go to auto fix and it automatically will try to apply the right filters and everything for that. If you click here there's the original and that's not much difference, okay? But you also find out down here, you'll see that reduced noise is a paid for. So if you have some, uh, you know, scram, not scramble, but dust in the picture and things like that, you have to do that. So if you sit there and do that and do color noise and all that stuff, you have to go buy it before it'll save it, okay? 
That's just a preview. Checking price first. Okay, do you want to buy four ninety nine from the Windows Store? And you can buy that one effect. So the effects, as many as you need, are available. Will be available and everything that you can do if you want to spend five bucks. It's still a lot cheaper than paying a ninety nine dollars or whatever it is for Photoshop Elements or something like that. I'm not going to go ahead and save it and everything, but you would save it like that. Now, once you do that, you can save it to anywhere on your hard drive that you normally store your stuff. So Photoshop Express seems to be a very nice little robust uh, program for Windows 8, free from Adobe for the regular user. It's really a nice little gem that uh, you can use to edit all your photos.